Anywhere you are, I want your hands to be lifted up to God in heaven. Above your head, I want you to shout a song of triumph. I want you to shout a bigger hallelujah. Shout bigger hallelujah. Everyone watching us online, I want you to know that it's a great day for you. As I've announced to you through God, that is our breakthrough month. A lot of people here, we break through any truth. A lot of people here we break through any circumstances. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want everyone under the Son of God to me to shout say breakthrough. I command today in the name of Jesus. When you go to your right, you turn to breakthrough. Amen. When you go to your life, you turn to breakthrough. Amen. Any area of your life that you find yourself, I declare in the name of Jesus, grace for breakthrough will flow into your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know for how long we have been suffering from crossing over. Here it is. In the season of breakthrough is a season of crossing over. I want you to know with a firm word that from today you will cross over. Hey, hey. Tell somebody, say, I'm crossing over. I'm crossing over. Begin to tell 10 persons, say, I'm crossing over, I'm crossing over. Say, I'm crossing over. In the name of Jesus, I'm crossing over by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm crossing over by the right of God. Announce to that person. Announce to that person. See, I'm crossing over. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 19. We are going to sing praise at 8 o'clock. We have one hour more to do this unto the Lord. Zechariah chapter 8, verse 19 says, Thus hear the Lord of hosts, the feast of the first month, and the feast of the fifth, and the feast of the seventh, and the feast of the eighth, shall be to the house of Judah, and gladness and cheerful feast. Therefore, love the truth and peace. Why is it this? In the book of 2 Samuel, the Lord said to God, He command God, David command God, He said, Please, even if my house sin, do not remove your covenant from my house. Then, from 2 Samuel to the book of Zechariah, it have to be many years, many decades. But the prophecy of covenant was established and the feast was converted. I pray to the house of your father. In this tenth month, I declare in the name of Jesus, let the feast of great thing fall into your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Why house of Judah? Because the Lord brought out a son from that house. There was no covenant with Judah, but covenant with David. But because David came from that lineage, okay, then the blessing in the life of David rubbed off his family. What you will encounter from today, Kapali Masoto Pleketeada. I pray in the name of Jesus, heaven and the heavens, we make you enjoy them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Don't ever say the first month or the ninth month is fast paint. 
And I have not achieved what I should achieve. Say, all the blessing from the first month to nine months, I will enjoy it in ten months. Amen. Is somebody receiving it? Yes, sir. Do not forget, when the Lord say, organize people and let them praise me, he's telling you that I have done something, but I want to release it in praise. So, what you are passing through that it seems abnormal, it will end in praise. Amen. I like the way that man grab it. I say it will end in praise. Amen. For how many years have you been working without reward? Maza iklayese se kete timblo kusu zatzakata dokodi masuto pla han telegetete. I pray in the name of Jesus, it will hand in praise. Amen. Take note, I get a rama here right now. I got it. There is a little time you need to mourn for somebody that died. You see that person no more. But you will mourn forever for somebody that refused to die and the life is not better. There are lots of people that have repeated sorrow year after year. But in this month of breakthrough, do you know that Esther broke through in the tenth month? Mm. Yes, sir. Young, very virgin, we are required to marry the king after the original wife lost the savour of the beauty. Mm. Whenever you leave the throne, you will leave the savour of the beauty. I was, the, I was with the entourage, DSS, Mopo, and in the middle with a particular jeep like that, we are going in entourage. And I said, this is the reason people in power don't want to leave power. Do you understand what it means? I was in Ondo State, and the vice president came. And you know what happened in that place? Before he returned, a Bob detector policeman came to the church and he stood. Then, where the helicopter will land, you see the troop of Mumpo, DSS, a lot of people, a lot of things like that. I said, wow. Now, one head they call you. Do you hear me very well? Either you are well read or you are not. What makes a change is grace. Grace that we walk with this statement. If your hand can be louder, let it flow into your love in the name of Jesus. Amen. When the Lord is about to do something, He will say, Let there be praise. There are two things that God requires from people at all times. Number one, fast. And praise. Fast and what? Praise. This is not a time for fasting. It is a time for what? Feasting. The season of praise is the season of feasting. I don't know what you have to market and nobody patronize you. Esther had to market virginity. Faith and beauty. Other women also came. Other young lady came. The same thing. They were fed with the same food. They slept in the same house. In the custody of the same people. The head of the Enoch. Who is the Enoch? A castrated person. That cannot have sex with a woman. That cannot even have anything. There are Enoch in the realm of the spirit. That, in other words, not about sex. Their man wood is working. But their livelihood is not working. I pray today in the name of Jesus. Every castrated personality in this season of praise, it will hand in praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. What about you, student, that you feel that your mates are caught certain times during the award giving day? And you are never caught for once. What thing is wrong with you? Those people didn't carry to wear. 
There is something that is wrong with you that you need to figure out. When people look at you and say, you are brilliant, but brilliancy is not occurred in that place. You are knowledgeable, but nothing to say about it. I pray today, sound the wisdom and knowledge. Kapali Gasata. That will suddenly flow into your life. I pray for students right now. Oh yeah, let it flow. I pray for all the students here in the name of Jesus. When you want to write your wahek, if you are in secondary school right now, you want to write your wahek, the sins to write your wahek come. You know what is going to happen? You will write your wahek and your jam, you make it once. Amen. And the parents pray for their children, I say you make it once. Amen. I say you will make it once. Amen. Uh, I say you will make it once. Amen. What made a child that finished secondary school to start looking for a job before entering to university is because he's waiting for another year. Because that year was not good. But from today, as we are passing out, we are gaining entrance. Amen. I pray for that awaiting mother. You have received, received a lot of insult from your, fam, from your husband family. Many times, husband are put to be the problem, not the wife. But every fault we put in on the wife. I declare today in the name of Jesus, if you have been receiving such insult, you are getting results. Hey, man. Hey, you don't understand what I'm saying. I say you are getting results. Hey, man. The cross grade center as a child, this month is his birth. Or is her birth. So this month is the birthday of the cross grade center as a church. And the Lord is saying, you have to do this. And nine is the spiritual number of delivery. So if you don't understand what that means, ten is the number of sufficiency in the ninth year and delivery, okay? And the first day is the number of God. So God is making all your delivery to be sufficient in the tenth month. Hey, yeah. If you understand that word, yes, it will bring you from the drunk hill. Amen. And make you to sit with the kings. Amen. Men and women who sought to ridicule you, they'll be the one to patronize you. Amen. I'm hearing a new sound. Hallelujah. You have been hearing the sound of scantiness. You have been hearing the sound of scantiness. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus. You are hearing the sound of the abundance of rain. Amen. The king said, There is dryness in the land. But the prophet said, Dryness might have been there. Mm. But what I am hearing is the abundance of rain. He said to the king, start running. I hear this. When the king was running with the house, the spirit of the Lord possessed the prophet. Mm. And he ran and he met the house and, le and, lo and left the house or the, on the, what is it called now? The horse. He left the horse behind. Right. Because the spirit of the, of the Lord made him to speed mm. than the horse. I pray in the name of Jesus, the speed that is beyond the horse speed. I declare in the name of Jesus, let it flow into your life. Amen. After today, in accordance with the book of Genesis chapter 26 verse 13, I want every one of us to release that into our life and you patronize that, you personalize it, you declare that word into your life. Can we read it together very loud and clear? One to go. And the man was great. Uh huh. And went forward. Uh huh. And grew. Uh huh. Until he became very great. Three, four things here. The Bible says, the man was great. Greatness that entered into the life of that man make him to do what? Was great. Can we this cannot be displayed? And the man was very great and went forward and grew. Great, forward, grew up, and he became very great. This was a man that came from where nothing happens. 
It was a man that God asked him to flee from the town where he was because of the famine. But something happened. By the time he got to this French land, it became great. I pray today. Lagos might not be your land. America, Germany, where you find yourself might not be your land. Italy, Côte d'Ivoire, Europe might not be your land. But the word of the Lord say, the head is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. The head is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. From today, that country you find yourself of where you are right now will be a place of greatness for you. Hear the name of Jesus. Amen. Different between the riches and the poor is their mindset. Different between the nonentity and the celebrity is their mindset. Different between manager and the laborer is their mindset. Do you understand that? Different between the worthy man and the rich man is their mindset. But I pray today. I receive it. If anyone you are here, you have a poor mindset. The Lord will give you exalted mindset. Hey, man. Esther chapter 2 verse 6 says, So Esther was taken on talking Lazarus in the house, royal in the 10th month. Somebody is going to your befitting place in the name of Jesus. Hey, man. There are different people in that place. But in the tenth month, why tenth month? Why tenth month? Why are you in the tenth month right now? Why are you here right now? Because God is taking you from where you are to where you're supposed to be. Hey, man. I remember yesterday, I was doing something and the Lord said to me, my son, put on white, white. Because of what I want to do in the life of people and make declaration. I pray in the name of Jesus, if the Lord had, that have asked me to put on this, it is a symbol of purity. I pray in the name of Jesus, everything about you will be, pure, will be pure. Amen. Everything about you will be pure. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Borrowers will turn to lenders. Amen. You don't understand that? I receive it. If you are owing, you begin to dash out money. Amen. Anything that has stopped you before now will be your stepping stone. Amen. You that you have seen fifth pieces that rob your body, and since that time, there have been rejection. I pray in the name of Jesus, it's celebration. Amen. In the tenth month, and in the seventh year that that king reigned, seven year that that king reigned, a woman that entered into that place with the king was demoted. But a lady, a virgin, fair lady, very good lady, a daughter to a dead man and a dead woman, a sister to a particular person, said, this person is my uncle. And the uncle happened to be the gatekeeper. Gatekeeper. A man at the gate, they always having information about what happened on the inside. And the man said, I will not mess up. I have a sister. He has extra. Are you a virgin? Esther said, yes, I am a virgin. If you see a small girl, keep your virginity. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Say, yes, I am a virgin. Say, the king need a virgin lady. There are many. I heard it. Do you hear me very well? Memuka and the team. Who is the Memuka? Memuka happened to be one of the men who gathered together and said to the king, Hey, chase away your wife and look for another woman. Why? Because the way your wife presents the woman, every woman in the community, they will hate their husband just the way your wife hates you. That is why every leader must be sensitive. Are you hearing me? Your wife is a role model. Do you hear me? If your wife is walking in rag, the other women will be walking in rag. 
If your wife is somebody without issue that is good, with people who follow that wife. And they say, you need to change this woman. I pray to every woman here, no power will change you. Amen. I said, no power will change you. Amen. I don't know it's not here today. Your family is not complete here today. I pity you. It's a special day like this when God declares you have to come with your whole family members. Because when it happens, God is giving everybody one, one, not two, two. The blessing is not going to your wife or your children. If you don't come, if they are sleeping in the house, you only get it. And they might drain you from the one you have gotten. Is somebody listening to me? Yes, sir. It is very wise. I pray in the name of Jesus. Anointing for the first thing to happen in the realm of your life. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. In verse 17 of that scripture, Esther 2.17 says, and the king loved Esther above all the women. Even above the facet. All the women. And she obtained grace and favor in his sight more than all the virgins. So that he set the royal crown upon her head and made her queen instead of facet. Malikaza iplokese the hair. I declare in the name of Jesus. Anointing for you to become great. To be seen above every other person. I declare by the order of God. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, Receive it. In the name of Jesus. People watching us online. I want to congratulate you. Because your time has come. I say your time has come. I say your time has come. In the name of Jesus. Genesis chapter 8 verse 5. I'm running over this. And I want somebody to claim it. And the water decreased continually. Until the 10th month. There is something about the 10th month. Can the celebrant in the month of 10. Stand up and shout hallelujah. If 10th month is your month. Can you stand up and shout hallelujah. Now it says, the water decreased. When it comes to 10th month, everything became normal. Everything became normal. Then the rock was seen. You can now see everything feasible. You can now see the top of the mountain. I don't know the hidden mountain. You will see this month. I say, on the first day of the month, we are the top of the mountain seen. Oh my God. The first day of the month. When is today? What is today's date? First day in the month of what? Tenth month, the month of October. Maza Ika Tayazi. Zeplu Katu da Pleli Handali Aziketeti. I'm seeing somebody, the document to your new office is being given to somebody. But they refuse to call you. The way God troubled that man after a particular prayer for Bumi, I pray in the name of Jesus and he said, after 15 minutes, the Lord, he said, will perform something. Then as I was praying, and God said, in 12 minutes, as I was praying, the Lord said, in 10 minutes, when it came to that 10 minutes, my wife knows, she understands, many years ago, when it came to the 10 minutes, as soon as I dropped my phone, a call came and said, Bumi, I've been keeping your, uh, what is it called? Your visa lottery document. Please, they have sent it from abroad. I've been keeping it for six months. Remain one month to hand. Please, something just trouble me now. It's under my table. Please, can I come and give it to you? The man begs her. And the man said, anything you need, I will provide. God also make that happen. Just because you call me that night and say that the good night. Oh my God. I saw a spirit enter inside of me. And said, bless her. I don't know that document that belongs to you. Is it your employment document? Is it your immigrant document? 
Is it your document that you have been expecting from our office? The one in South Africa, the one in Zambia, the one anywhere, the one in America. I pray in the name of Jesus. Who are you talking now? When you enter into the season of breakthrough, a lot of things will have happened. David said to his men, I need to drink water. After his last word. And the men, there are three. And you know what's happened to three of them? They have to kill to bring that water. They have to do what? When you read the scripture, you, 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 you stop a while and you think. The Bible said the oaths of Philistine were there. And they broke through the oaths of Philistine. And what happened to these people? Immediately they break through. Hear this. They kill. And they brought the water for their master. The master knew because he was a warrior. He understand what that could be. And he said, these people risked their life. I know they killed before they came. And hear this. There was a master among them. But in the time of chosen again, the one that stood as a master was not preferred. You have been laboring for years. I'm bringing to them a heart of this place. They risked their life. They brought things for their master. And the master pours it down. But when it was time to choose somebody to the higher office, they brought the list among the three and made him the head of the three. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. If your labor had not been, had not been, have not been accompanied with good news, I pray in the name of Jesus, receive good news. I like your amen. I said, receive good news. Oh, I like that shot. I said, receive good news. I say receive God. Can everybody show good news? In my mouth of prayer to say good news. In my mouth of prayer to look at me now. Can you show hallelujah? I pray for you today, Lord, we thank you for what you have said to do. Nigeria at 59. We are praising God for this country, for evil rulers, that you end their story in praise. That everyone troubling this nation, that you end their story in praise. I pray in the name of Jesus, Nigerians, and the people that associate with Nigerians. I declare in the name of Jesus. Receive the peace of God. Amen. I say receive the peace of God. Amen. I lift up the flag of this nation. No matter how small it could be. I declare victory and breakthrough to this flag. In the name of Jesus. Orilai de Nigeria. I declare by the order of God this nation Nigeria I point my hand to you as everyone see you throughout the world I prophesy to you speak comfort to Nigeria and cry out to her. For our word for fear is ended. You are not shouting amen. amen. And an iniquity is pardoned. Speak comfort to Nigeria. Amen. Speak comfort to Nigeria. Amen. Speak comfort to Nigeria. Amen. I want everyone to shout Nigeria. I speak comfort to you on your 59th birthday that your warfare is ended. Your iniquity is pardoned. So from today, Nigeria, hear the word of God. Nigeria. We, the Cross Christian Center members, we prophesy into your life that by the power of the Holy Ghost, 
Your warfare is ended. And your iniquity of bloodshed. Your iniquity of evil practice. Your iniquity of evil power. Your iniquity of the evil rulers is ended. Say no more bully in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. Can you clap your hands for this nation, Nigeria? Celebrate the Lord of hosts over this nation. Can you say, Nigeria, you're a blessed nation? I will never curse you again. I will bless you for the rest of my life. Say, Nigeria, you're a blessed nation. You are not a cursed nation. Nigeria, you are blessed forever. Nigeria, I see the hand of God upon your life. Nigeria, I see the favor of God upon your life. Nigeria, I see the help of God upon your life. Nigeria, I see the right of God upon your life. Can you say, Nigeria? Go and prosper. Can somebody shout to say, Nigeria? I love you. Say, Nigeria? From today, good news. In the name of Jesus, say in this nation, I will do well. I will not run away. In this nation, my life shall be perfect. Say in this nation, I will not struggle. Say in this nation, I will not fight battle. Say in this nation, you will not see evil reports. Say in this nation, you see the help of God. Say in this nation, you see the power of God. Say in Nigeria, Nigeria, hear the word of God. Go and do well. In the name of Jesus. Shout out Amen. I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. I stand at the center of Nigeria. And I declare as a prophet of God. I connect to the grace that found this nation. The grace upon my biological father. Late Apostle Adeyokun Moses Atayiro. I declare in the name of Jesus over this nation by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is your 59 years. You enter into your new realm. Amen. Though today there are a lot of killings of people that will happen, but it will not come near your dwelling. Amen. Though today some houses will be born, set ablaze. But it will not come your dwelling. Amen. Though today many people were involved in accidents, many will be trapped. But it will not come your dwelling. Amen. As I leave this altar now and I release it for praise, I declare peace of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 